I was deployed to the Caribbean, in particular to the island of Dominica. As I was flying over the island, I realized the scale of the devastation. This is an island that was known for its beauty, for its emerald green forest, and it was brown. It was completely barren, naked. You could see the devastation on the building, the infrastructure also from the plane. It was a bit like arriving in a war zone. Last year was exceptional. We had two Category 5 hurricanes striking. So devastation was a high in certain places like Dominica, like the island of Barbuda, less so maybe in, in St. Martin or British Virgin Island. After I arrived in Dominica and, and I started to meet uh, the people that, that were affected, I realized that they were traumatized and they were stunned by the, the brutality of the event that had occurred. Together with the sentiment of, of trauma, there was an immediate inner strength and a determination to start rebuilding, to start putting their lives back together and uh, rebuild their future. The U.S. system re re responded immediately. We concentrated, of course, at the beginning on, on the immediate needs of the population. And in UNDP, we focus a lot on uh, restoring some of the uh, livelihoods of the people and also on roofing and, and house uh, repairs. The U.N. also distributed food and, and water and, and um, health kits. There were later on uh, cash handouts, and all of that was done very, very closely with, with the government. We also had many international NGOs who came to help. So there was a very generous international response and a very swift reaction by the UN. And I have to say, this was the UN at its best.